So what's wrong with Christian Book? Stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthew, and welcome to Animated Christians, where we discuss questions about the church as well as original content. So what's wrong with Christian book? But first, we need to define what a book is, and a definition of a book is a handwritten or printed work of fiction or nonfiction, usually on sheets of paper fastened or bound together within covers. So looking at this definition, we see that books are either physically bound together and can either represent fiction or nonfiction. But today, we will be looking at fiction. Most of the time, Christian books are okay, but there seems to be two types of books. One is either about the church of some kind. It's a retelling of creation under a different name. I know there are a lot of other books out there, but most of the time, I find Christian books to play it safe. Like there's no danger to the character or the character's not interesting. There's one book I read called Skin Map, and it darted off very well. Then in the middle of the book, it just became boring. The concept was neat though. I'm still new at character development myself, so please go easy in the comments below because I'm still learning. The problem is a lot of Christian books do not have struggles, but you notice that a lot of times God rescues them out of the nick of time in the climax of things. Let's just pray to God and boom, that's the end, rather than having the characters figure out something on their own. Which leads me to my next point. Most Christian books are for Christians, and none seem to be for non-believers, which is kind of strange considering it's fiction. You see, Christian characters always seem to go to church. It's always a church struggle that happens, and that seems to always be the center focus, mostly overcoming that church struggle with the character. There's nothing wrong with that, but it comes across the ending has been written before the beginner has even started reading. In other words, when when people read church in some form, it's imminent in their brain that they know what's going to happen before even picking up the book. So what are some ways to improve Christian book? One way is to think about your character. What are some of their struggles? What do they face eternally and physically? And what are some experiences you have that you can put into that character? Second, make them have real consciousness for your character and not just a God fix all motto, which has been done countless times before, unless used properly. What is their journey or what have they overcome? Ask more questions and the deeper your story becomes. As a writer, I write story with the narration and the characters inside one of another. When I get to a certain point that I have the characters themselves tell me how they feel, what are their likes and dislikes, and I'm not being silly here or anything demonic. It's just that I'm linking to the world that I'm writing in. Think of it this way. God is the writer, but he's making a connection with his story. Or the characters can hear the other person in their consciousness, but still live their lives just as the God is the writer. He's making a connection with each one of us as characters, figuring out our likes and dislikes. Even though he knows what will happen, it will be the same when you write your story. Second, make your story interesting, not just go to church. Instead, maybe discover why the church is in the dump, and is it the real church? Explore what does it mean to be righteous or brave. Be creative with your story. It doesn't have to fit one mold all the time. You were born to be creative in your talent, whether it be writing, art, etc., and you should use those gifts to tell your story. So I hope this helped give you some practical steps to help improve your story and i hope to see your creation in the store someday and if you're here on youtube i'd love to see some of your creations in the comments below and join me next friday where we will discuss christian media and never forget animated christian is just for you